What's going on everybody? Mail day, mail day, mail day. Trying to get my camera back in focus. Um, let me get a little bit more elevated and away. So I've got a couple deals come through. Um, I'll show you half of the one deal because it was actually two deals mixed. But the other one I got to talk to the guy on. First up, Wemby. Hoops attack the rack PSA 10. Wemby Mania is still running wild. It is overtaken Hulkamania currently. So we'll see what happens with this here. I think it'll probably sell this weekend over in uh, Lexington. But we'll see what happens. Up next, these here, if you don't know what they are, they're the clear cuts. Uh, one of the original acetates that Upper Deck did. Yes, Griffey's a sticker auto. But I'll tell you what, these surfaces were really, really, really hard. If you ever find one of these clear cut elements, you, when you start seeing them, they're really hard grades. Um, just that people didn't know how to protect this stuff back then very well. And the ones that were smart, which were very few that did, have nice, clean fronts onto these but overall not bad it's probably what i would expect it on to it for condition wise up next rushman rookie from i think that's tribute yep tribute pretty cool out of 25 <clears throat> up next joe namath Passing the torch, I think he's due like 80 bucks or something like that. Out of 49. Hall of Famer. Alright, did some Black Diamond. This is the results of the first break. The second one's probably getting mailed today because it was over on Saturday night. Really surprised. This was from KTA Authentics or KTA Breaks, however you want to say it. Um, really quick shipping. Came out of Palm... I think it said Palm Springs, California. Palm something, California. He shipped this out on Friday and I got it today. It was just ground advantage. It wasn't like priority overnight or nothing. So I got in one filler, got the Devils, and then I got into the, I guess you'd call it, well, it's the Blackhawks, but the Connor Bedard. I had two serial numbers on it. So first up, defense. Luke Hughes, I want to say he did pretty well for defense uh, for the Devils. I mean, I can't remember the exact numbers, but I think he had something like five, six goals, probably like 20 assists. Nothing real crazy, but not too bad either being young guy out there. And no, I don't know if he's related to Jack Hughes. Up next, their triple, how do you say this, triple diamond relic for the rookies. And this is, uh, oh, is it Semenik? Oh, Nemec, Nemec. Simon Nemec. I don't know why I was thinking the other way. Um, not too bad of a year. I think he played around 50, 60 games overall. And this is serial number, I think it's out of 49. Wow. I'll kind of all crud on this. Um, but not too bad of a year for him. Again, something, I don't know if it'll go Com C or what offhand. But not too bad, not too bad at all. I hit a Connor. <laughs> I don't know. These are the Team Jumbo logos. I believe this is... Yeah, it's the manufactured patch because it's not serial numbered. I saw these doing four to 500. I don't know how long they'll sustain that. But it's a pretty cool piece. He's still hot. Didn't make playoffs. We'll see what happens with him down the road. Might see McDavid Mania. Up last, this is, like I said, part one of, part of two-part deals. Got soccer. Pay, this is a uh, Leaf. I forget what it was out of now. I can't remember if it was in the game, art of. Yeah, I don't remember. It has Brian Gray still on the back of it. But anyhow, Pele, this is numbered out of 25. I should have looked when I did this. I'm pretty sure it was 25. Yeah, 25. One cool piece into there with two color rest are all single swatch colors. Pretty cool Pele piece. Up second, Lewandowski Auto with a jersey piece onto it. 
I don't know. It could be shorts. I know somebody will ask me eventually. This was numbered out of thought. Oh yeah, out of twenty five as well. Should know it's all copper, and it's because of the bag that the camera's not picking up. This is actually cased, sleeved, and then a bag on top of it. It's pretty thick. This is out of twenty five too, so they were all out of twenty five. Couldn't remember. So we have Endrick and Granacho. Granachos with cheese, dual auto. And it's the matchbook. So like I said, it's just it's really hard to get this on the way it is. There we go. That's probably the best I'll be able to do. Just because of the thick case, sleeved, and then team bagged right now. But pretty cool stuff. Matchbook. I was trying to see what it came out of, but I have no idea now. History book. That's all it says. So I did get three of those, so we'll see how well those do with some of the shows coming up. But pretty cool pieces. Um, we went Bedard hunting, we hit one, we went Bedard hunting the second time, the results of that will be in, although I did hit a couple filler teams, so, uh, I don't remember what all was into it, I think I had like the Penguins, Penguins, Blues, Stars, and of course two serial numbers on the Blackhawks. Alright guys, appreciate y'all watching the video. Um, I should not have anything else coming in this week. I've double checked the spreadsheet, but I'm pretty sure that clears me out. Minus a box from uh, Joey coming in. It'll have a couple Revolution Wemby rookies in. Look at, see, maybe get them graded. Unless PSA pops finally after some stuff a week, two weeks in assembly, and they ship it out today or tomorrow. Probably won't be much more of show and tell type stuff till I go to the show on Saturday. Yes, set up Lexington, Kentucky this Saturday. I think it's 15, 16 value boxes. So if you always come down for the value boxes, get there early. I probably will be there around 7.30, 8 o'clock in between that time frame setting up. And got no problem if you're there early and you want to start going through the stuff. All right, guys, other than that, I am out. Catch you next video.